Hello friends, good evening. Today I am going to discuss a very useful module from Odoo Community Association which is bundled under Product Variant Repository where we are going to discuss today Product Variant Configurator and Purchase Variant Configurator. How these two modules will help any business to define the Product Variant configurator with a new strategy these two modules are coming under version 17 branch right now so it is not upgrade to version 18 so let's explore how version 17 these two module will help so any business who are dealing into the products which can be dynamically created and i also want to create the product by selection in my purchase so in Odoo, when you are doing any regular product purchase, it will not give you any selection process. You can only see a matrix, a grid matrix to define your product. But right now, with these two modules, when I install that, I will get whole new perspective of creating product with the attributes where if I am telling you, like I have defined a complete use case for a computer or a laptop which can be produced uh, with the different attributes like processor, I can select from any of this, then RAM, then storage, then graphics, then display and color. So if you see all the attributes have the value creation or variant creation mode is instantly. So as soon as I apply all these models into my product, it will create entire product spectrum and variance based on these all attributes and it will go very detailed or huge number of products for me when i multiply all the attributes so let's see when i am you know uh, creating any product categories like laptop fixed that i am giving and over here after installing this module you will get an option don't create variance automatically if I disable that and let's say I am creating my product of uh, let's say I want to create a tablet with the same properties right and then over here you can again get the options like use Odoo's default variant management or use the category value or don't create them automatically so i am choosing use the category value so on category i have defined so i am choosing all the values and over here i can say it is required during the creation then i want ram which is again a mandatory field then i am going to select storage capacity which is again mandatory field for any tablet or laptop then i am going to give graphics which is optional because in my tablet i don't require it always then display size so which is you know almost uh, compatible for my laptop category but i for an example i am doing that and then i have color which is again optional so this display is mandatory and then i would like to add on some accessories also if people want so accessories let me remove it for now as soon as i save this and then i'm choosing like use the category value and my category is all that's why it didn't create it so if i say laptop fixed and then if i go over here recreate everything it will instantly create my variant so i am changing my category to laptop fixed let's say it is allowing me to create variant and now if i am choosing all my values over here then ram which is again mandatory then let's say storage which is again mandatory and then let me select graphics which is not mandatory field right now with all this 
Once I save, it created 135 variants instantly within Odoo space. So you can see now this is the default approach. Now you imagine if I added more properties, it would have create more variants instantly, which I really don't want. So now with those custom modules, if I am creating a new product laptop with a category laptop dynamic, that is my category and I am enabling this don't create variants automatically. And then now I start selecting, use the default or use default variant or use the category where I have defined don't create. And then I am creating my options in terms of my attributes now. So over here I am adding one after another all the component which are required to create my laptop where I want everything as a mandatory field. So display is again mandatory. Color is again mandatory. And accessories are optional. If I choose or not choose, it will stay. Once I save, no variants created. So this is how you can prevent creating variants. Now I am going to sell this laptop. Over here, let me again, you know, set like laptop, which is having some pricing over there. And based on attributes, we will get the more pricing and inventory, it will shoot the purchase. So let's say if I'm going into sales and adding my laptop, it will launch entire selection process and I can add whatever specification or configuration I want. And then on confirm, it will then, you know, confirm my order and delivery will be generated for this particular variant. Now, if I go over here, you can see one laptop variant is created like this based on my product applicability. So this is how the variant is created on the fly from my sales order. Now, let's say if I am enabling my inventory configuration where I am enabling multi-step route and also creating make to order configuration in my routes. So I have to enable the make to order and unarchive this. And then on my product of laptop, let's say I am enabling make to order replenishment. And if I am selling that to any other customer, then I am selecting my laptop dynamic and back to quotation. And then I am launching the entire wizard. So I am selecting good configuration. And as soon as I confirm, you know, it will then try to deliver this product. Again, if I going into my product master, you can see a new variant is created like this. So this is how you can see variants are created from sales order. And then we can, we don't have to create the variants, fixed variants on the fly. Now, the another benefit of this particular module group purchase variant configurator. When I install that and if I'm going to purchase my laptop or let's say 
this particular wizard will be open and then I can select if I want to create a tablet on my own which is fixed from my sales cycle but if I want to select the properties during my purchase then this module will help us to define and then I can define the cost price of the variant and quantity over here with the help of this particular wizard and then I can confirm my order and then that variant will be coming into my inventory. So for tablet I have fixed set of variants but here in my purchase I can even select and combine my own way because of that module. Now if I am selling that dynamic laptop so if I am going and selecting laptop here I have possibility to create my own purchase variant which I need in my you know, way and then it is optional then product will be auto created from laptop I need 5 units and let's say I am defining 50,000 as a cost and this laptop will be created so product template let me just complete my thing and I will say create a new laptop or create a new product and it will create a product for me immediately so that you can see all the properties will be available here and a new product will be created as soon as I confirm order a new product variant will be created for me so you can see inside my laptop now you can see the variants are created like this so a best way to manage the purchase base product configurator as well as the same attribute can be float into different product where you can choose based on category whether to create a fixed sales product variant or not so these two modules are available under our oca repository with version 17 which you can download and explore and you can even ask your team to migrate to latest version but these are very useful modules which i have got some inquiries and i would like to explore that's why i'm creating this video and thank to all the developers who are maintaining this Uru Community Association branch and latest versions. Again, hope these two modules will help creation of variants dynamically based on our choice as well as creation of variant on purchase, which is possible now with these two modules. I will pass the link to this module uh, in my YouTube video description. If you have any requirement for further customization or implementation, please reach out to me on my YouTube email or LinkedIn. Thank you guys. Good day.